The radar in CSGO, also known as the minimap, delivers valuable information about what is going on around you and what the enemy team is possibly about to do. You can make the information more accessible by changing the settings using specific commands. This video covers all you need to know about how to change the settings and what commands you should know about to customize your radar for the better. To make it all easier, each command is shown with a comparison of the highest and the lowest value. First, let's take a look at how to change the radar settings in CSGO. You can change the radar settings in three ways. First way is to go into the in-game settings. Find game and then radar tablet. The second option is to copy paste the commands into the console. Make sure you have enabled developer console set to yes. Third option is to put the commands into your auto exec config so your custom settings will load each time you start the game. Now let's see the difference between default and custom radar settings. By default, the radar settings are not set up for the best efficiency. By changing the command values, you can get more precise information about your enemy position and which direction they are moving. When you compare the two pictures, you can see the custom settings makes the radar bigger and more zoomed out. It also has slightly smaller icons and the player position is not centered in the middle. These changes gives you a greater overview while still getting great information. Now, let's take a look at each command. Radar scale. This command decides how zoomed in or out the radar is. When the radar is all zoomed out, you get a great overview across the whole map, but it can be hard to see exactly what's going on around you. Hot radar scale. This command adjusts how much space the radar takes up on your display. You do not want the radar to take up too much space on your display, but it can be helpful to bring the value up a bit. If you choose a high value, you can likely zoom out the radar to get a better overview while you still get the great details. Radar Rotate This command decides whether or not the radar rotates as you move around. Having this command set to zero makes the radar more static. Some players find it confusing when it rotates as they look around. Make sure to test both settings to find out what works best for you. Radar Always Centered This command decides whether or not your position is located in the middle of the radar. Having this command set to zero will ignore your position so you can see more of the map when standing by the edge. Radar Icon Scale This command adjusts the icon sizes of your teammates and enemies. Whether or not you should play with big or small icons depends on what you like. There is no big difference in the way you receive the information. Having a radar zoom bind makes you able to quickly zoom in and out on the radar. This can be a great advantage depending on what situation you are in. When the enemy is close, it's great to have the radar zoomed in to better see their exact position and in what direction they are moving. In other situations, you might want to have it zoomed out to get a better overview about what happens across the map. Find the radar zoom bind down in the description. Finally, let's take a look at how to find the radar if it's not showing. Sometimes the radar is missing due to changes in settings, but you never want to hide it since it delivers so much valuable information. To make sure the radar is always showing, set Draw Hot Force Radar to 1. That was all you need to know about how to change the radar settings and what commands you should know about to customize it for the better. Please like the video if you found it useful and visit the website for more unique content.